In the Kitchen, sponsored by Coastal Medical Service. Well, it's Monday, and that means it's time to head back into the kitchen with Chef Becky. That's right. This week, Chef Becky shows us a neat way to use those Thanksgiving leftovers. Oh, let's savor the flavors of Chef Becky. Hey everybody, we're back in the kitchen today with Chef Becky. Good morning everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm Chef Becky, and today I have a really fun recipe to share with you. It's cranberry ice cream, just in time for the holidays. Sounds delicious, let's get started. We have one quarter cup of water, 12 ounces of fresh cranberries, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, one cup of sugar, one and a half cups of heavy cream, and one and a half cups of whole milk. The first step is to pick through the cranberries Sometimes there are squishy ones or unripe ones when they're white. I don't like to use those. So we're just going to pick through them and then we'll rinse them. So I've never had a cranberry before. Are they sweet? They're actually really tart. I dare you to try one. Okay, I'm down for a dare. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. One cup of white sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt. We need just a quarter cup of cold water. So now I'm going to stir the cranberries. Try to get that sugar dissolved. This will cook for about seven minutes on medium heat. So the cranberries are popping. It's hot and sugary. You gotta watch out to not get popped with this cranberry syrup that we're making. So what's our next step? Now that our cranberries have cooled, we're going to puree it in a food processor. I think that's good. I like a little texture. This is a cup and a half of their cool milk. So this bottle is 12 ounces, which equals a cup and a half. We're going to pour the entire thing in. It kind of looks like the cranberry... Um, the can. The canned cranberry yeah. stuff. That's it's so easy to make fresh cranberry jelly. So now we're just going to whisk the cranberry into the cream and milk. It's all in the wrist. So what's next? Next we're going to assemble the ice cream maker. Okay. Here is our frozen bowl. It's chilly. And this goes in. This is the paddle. <laughs> okay. So the next step is to turn on the ice cream machine and pour our mix into the machine while it's ready. It needs to be running first. Okay. So the ice cream will process for 20 to 30 minutes. I use 30 minutes for this recipe. I think we're ready for some scooping. You ready for a sweet treat? This recipe is sweet and sticky. There's just no way around it. Isn't that beautiful? All right, chef, for those at home who want to make this tasty treat, where can they find it? Well, this recipe and all of the others that I have made on KMTR over the years are posted on my website, chefbecky.com, as well as my Facebook page and Instagram. This is delicious. Oh, so good. Yes, this is really good. Well, Angela, we saw the first bit. You took the bite of the cranberry. Was it successfully transformed in, uh, with that ice cream? Yes, it was delicious. That um, creamer that she was using was a really good high-end brand, and it made it delicious. Yeah, it's it makes all the splurge. difference. Yeah. Good ingredients makes for good results, especially and, when you know what you're doing. Yeah, and Chef Becky mentioned that you can use, like, the canned cranberry sauce oh, yeah, it's a little cheap. to make this. You don't have to use those bitter... Yeah. Uh, fresh cranberries. Which... So maybe if you bought too many cans of that canned cranberry, you know what to do with it. 